What's up guys, Hector here again, and I got some more Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire information from E3 of this year, 2014 of course, in case anybody's just watching this in the future. Um, I was working with IGN, doing some information, Put every time some information was released on a new video game, I put all that stuff on their guides, so I wasn't able to quickly put up a video right when the information was released, but it, that's a little bit of good news because after their Nintendo Digital event on Tuesday, they released like two other videos, I think the next two days, releasing even more information for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So I was able to weigh it off and then just collect all this information and put it into one video. So hey, upside, downside, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, so they showed a little trailer of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire running on the Pokemon X and Y engine. So it's all 3D. And then well, 3D in the sense that, you know, it looks all cell shaded and all that stuff like that. It's not any sprite stuff anymore. But in the caption of the video, it did say that there are 3D capabilities. We don't know if that's going to be all the time or just during Pokemon battles and during the Pokedex like X and Y. So we'll have to wait and see on that. <clears throat> but they did announce what I said they would announce because remember they had Mega Blaziken in X and Y so to round it out even it all out they announced Mega Sceptile and Mega Swampert the other two starter Pokemon but that information was released last week on Saturday in one of the Japanese magazines Koro Koro that's C-O-R-O C-O-R-O and I read that information on Serebii.net if you guys haven't seen that website you guys should definitely check it out. It's an awesome website with Pokemon information. Not the best for guides, but that's what you got me for. Um, apparently, Mega Sceptile is going to be half grass, half dragon, and it's going to have the lightning rod ability. Mega Swampert is still going to be water and ground, but it's going to have the swift swim ability. And um, they also showed off, for some reason, um, sort of a Mega... Kyogre and Groudon, which are the main two legendary Pokemon. I guess they're Mega Evolutions because they said there are primal forms. I'm not sure if this is just going to be some other type of form change, but it looked like a Mega Evolution to me. And everybody kept saying it, it was Mega Evolution based off the earlier videos, but I didn't think so because it just they just look exactly the same except their you know glyphs on their bodies were glowing. And in the original Ruby and Sapphire, it did show those same Pokemon with their little glyphs showing. And it wasn't any different, but apparently now it's going to be Mega Pokemon, I suppose. And Steven Stone showed up in the trailer. Remember, he's the son of um, that guy who's in the Devon Corporation, I believe. Or I'm a little rusty on the whole storyline, but anyways, he's kind of like the rival. I believe he was the champion in Ruby and Sapphire, but he was replaced in Emerald as a champion, the Pokemon League champion. He had nothing but rock and steel type Pokemon, but I read on Serebii that he's going to have a Mega Charizard for some reason, which doesn't make sense since he always had rock and steel type Pokemon. But it didn't it didn't say he's gonna have a Mega Charizard in the new trailer. It just was supposedly leaked in that magazine. So we're gonna have to wait and see for hundred percent sure what's gonna happen. And of course they showed the Team Aqua, Team Magma, and their leaders Archie and I think it was Maxwell or something. And then after the trailer, they showed a new video of Mega Deancey, which is an upcoming legend for X and Y. Is a rock and fairy type Pokemon Deancey. They still haven't released it. They still haven't released information of when they're going to release it. But I'm sure it's just going to be a regular event Pokemon. Like you download the Wi-Fi event. Then you go to the Pokemon Center. And then they're like here's your Pokemon. But who knows. They could do some special other event. Like in some of the past games. You had to like go to some secret island or something. And then find the Pokemon. You just downloaded the key item to get to that area. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. And they did announce a Mega Evolution for him or her. It's probably going to be an unknown gender. So we'll have to see what goes on with that. And, um, oh yeah, a quick note real quick on the Mega Kyogre and Groudon. If they do 
give them Mega Evolutions, it would kind of make sense to give Rayquaza a Mega Evolution. Because remember, in the game, it showed them kind of fighting off, then Rayquaza comes in to the rescue and then just pretty much settles everything. So if they're going to be all buffed up with Mega Evolutions, it would kind of make sense to give Rayquaza a Mega Evolution. So I'm going to do a little predicting, I don't know, gesture. I'm going to predict that they probably will give Rayquaza a Mega Evolution too, maybe. And um, after those trailers, they showed off another trailer of Mega Sableye for some reason unknown to me. For those that don't remember, Sableye is this half ghost, half dark Pokemon that really sucked. Nobody ever used him. The, the only thing that made him kind of cool was that he was pretty much immune to all em elemental types. Well, not immune. Immune. <laughs> None of the types were super effective against him. The only type that would be super effective against him was a fighting type. But since he was half ghost, normal fighting type moves wouldn't be, be able to hit him unless you use like foresight or identify. Then you can use fighting type moves. And then the Scrappy ability came along, I think in Generation 5 maybe, that allowed Pokemon with fighting type moves to hit ghost, dark type, <clears throat> ghost type Pokemon. And then of course the fighting type move would be super effective against the dark type. And the only other ghost dark type Pokemon I think was that, you know, cloudy Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Uh, what was his name? Oh, it doesn't matter. But for some reason, Sableye, they gave him a Mega ev Evolution even though he doesn't have a regular Evolution, which doesn't make sense to me. Because, well, let me just say that I hate Mega Evolutions. I think they're pretty stupid. I don't really use them. I wouldn't use them in a legit battle one-on-one -on -one against a friend. I just think they're kind of lame. I think, well... I, I'm just going to say I don't like them. But on top of that, since Sableye doesn't have any evolutions, it would make sense to give him a legit evolution instead of a mega evolution. Why did they give him a mega evolution when he doesn't have a regular evolution? It doesn't make sense. But, okay, they did. So, moving forward. Um, well, that's pretty much the only information that they actually released. But I'm going to still make another prediction Remember Wally, your other rival, start off with the Ralts. I said this in my last video. It's going to evolve to a Curlia and maybe a Gardevoir. And if it does, they're probably going to give him Mega Gardevoir because they're really pumping out these Mega Evolutions and Mega Pokemon. But if they want to sort of mix things up, they could make him evolve from Curlia to Gallade, which is a half psychic, half fighting Pokemon that didn't appear until Generation 4, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, after Ruby and Sapphire. So who knows, they could give him Gallade, they could give him Mega Gardevoir, or who knows, they could give him Gallade and then announce a Mega Gallade. I don't know. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I'm pretty sure that's all the information that was released. So if you like this type of video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep pumping out more information videos of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And when the game does come out, I'm going to release some gameplay videos on my YouTube channel. I don't think I can stream with my 3DS, but I do know I can record. And if you like this particular video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It's totally cool. And check out my website, I guess, HectorMagical.com. I write about a bunch of different gaming stuff and personal stuff. It's just a, you know, blog about me, my thoughts. And, of course, my work. If I write a guide, I put a link there. Unless I don't write a guide for IGN or anybody else. If I decide to write a guide for myself, then I put it on my own blog. But enough of my rambling on. That's the end of this video. So, see you guys later.